Did you know that the first 30 seconds of your video are most important? The things like retention rate and impressions actually matter? Well, of course you do. But did you also know that keeping viewers past those 30 seconds is way harder than most think? And that most people click away before those 30 seconds have even gone? I'm Linus, this is my corner of the internet. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to get your viewers attention and how to hook your viewer as soon as possible. First thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to play two different videos. There are two different hooks and I want you to choose the better one. Hi, my name is Linus. The weather is now nice outside. I just ate some breakfast burritos. They were really tasty even though I don't eat breakfast burritos. It was breakfast and uh, today I'm making a video about hooks and how to get your audience's attention and how to keep them their attention during the whole video. How do you make hooks and what are hooks really? Watch till the end of the video and I'll answer that question for you. And time is up. If you chose B, here's a cookie. You did good. Did you choose A? Eh, hmm, yeah, sorry. Of course it's an exaggerated example, but the most important lesson here is that I want you to start in the middle of the action. You create a problem or a question that the viewer wants answered, and then you promise to deliver the answer by the end. And then you can do whatever you want in between. Skip the intro and I'm sorry, but you gotta skip the boring stuff. And the boring stuff being the intro, the what you've been doing in a day and everything in between to get the attention of the viewer. Sure, you can do whatever you want, but if you want your channel to grow relatively fast, I believe you gotta do some of these things. You gotta hook the attention of the people that you want to watch and then you can bring on the heavy stuff, the things that the viewer oftentimes click away through. And the clearer you make it, the clearer you make the hook and the intro and the problem and then the promise of the answer in the end, the more you gain from it. I mentioned retention rate and impressions in the beginning and that was my hook. So let me explain. Retention is how long someone watches your video from the start to where they click off. And impressions are how many people actually get to see your video on their home feed. When they see the, your thumbnail and they scroll by it, that's one impression. Or if they see it embedded somewhere and they don't click on it, that's an impression. Even if they click on it, that's an impression. Anyone who sees your video, that's an impression. But then there's a third thing that I didn't mention in the beginning, and that is click-through rate. And the click-through rate is how many people actually click on your video. So how many impressions that then turn into a view. That's the click-through rate. And after that, you have the retention rate, where the viewer watches a certain amount of time in your video, and that's the amount of retention rate you have. So now that you know that you need to give the audience a problem, a question, and then a promise to answer it, you can outline the video in between. You can put whatever you want in between. But start with the problem, give them the question, and then answer the question. And it doesn't matter what category you have of YouTube, you can do this in Spanish uh, teaching videos, or in uh, um, sewing classes, or in uh, makeup, or anything. Writing videos, for example, or how to make YouTube videos. So adapt it to your category, try new things, see what works. If you get a lot of views on a video, then you know that works, and then you can continue on that path and try new things to get more views because the more views you get the more analytics you have to go from go on and the more data you collect you can just do whatever you want with that but you got to get the data first you know now you might say Linus uh, I do vlogs I don't need a problem and then an answer because I just show you are you show the people about my life what i do in a day well you can do the same thing actually in the vlog if you start the vlog with hey we're going to the store because we need logs we need timber to build our cottage or we need this to make that well then you have a problem we we, we lack the items 
to make this. The viewer wants to see you make that Cobb pizza oven, but the viewer also knows that they need to stick to the end to get the answer, to see the Cobb pizza oven. So that's a problem and an answer right there. All right, I'm gonna try to live by my own teaching and do this in every video from now on, and then I'll try to make it as clear as possible. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll give you an update video on how it works with analytics and all of it, because it's kind of interesting how some things catch on to YouTube and some things don't, especially in different niches and everything. And since I have two niches, I have authorship and YouTube, it's gonna be interesting to see how my audience is divided between the two and how much each video gets. Anyways, that's it for me. Here's a video about me taking cold showers for seven days and how much it affected me. I'll see you there. Bye.